Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodnacks.com, where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. We are going to thoroughly review all tools to create your personal site on Google Sites and do it substantially. The idea of Google Sites is to be the most simple website builder ever, and it absolutely lives up to that idea. To make it clear, Google Sites is meant exclusively for something simple, like team projects, some simple web presentation, event announcement, education purposes, and certainly not for some online shop hosting or anything business-related and complex, like things offered by WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, and others. The most illustrative examples are the company wiki with its guidelines and policies, a team project in the form of a website having corporate documents, meeting calendar, budget, sheets. And one more really nice option is a web work resume and portfolio. Here we overview all tools offered by Google Sites to make you be able to build your perfect website. First up, make sure you are signed in to your Google account. You can check that by going to google.com. And here on the Google homepage, look at the top right corner. If there is your profile picture or an icon with a person, that means you are signed in. If not, there will be the sign in button. Follow the steps and you'll return to Google homepage. The website creation itself starts from your Google Drive. Let's go there by entering drive.google.com in the address bar and confirming. Now on your drive, on the sidebar on the left, you need this new button. Down to More and select Google Sites. Now this is your whole canvas for creating a website. Or you can start from the templates offered by Google. We will take a look at few. Click on the Sites icon on the top left and you will be taken to the Sites homepage. Here, navigate to the Template Gallery. These are some free simple templates made by Google so you can quickly adapt them to your needs, including personal, work, business and education categories. And let's start from Personal Portfolio. Your name here, and then some basic information about yourself and what you do. Then your photo, and we'll get to how to customize this all. Empty separation block, and your cases. Assuming adding here a presentation from your drive, then created images or photos, and a link to a YouTube video. The next block is absolutely identical, and a call to contact you. But we have two more pages on top on the header, which is about, one more photo describing what you do, and then a blog where you tell about your skills and experience, clients, work experience, and education. And then we have the project page, where you tell in more details about some particular project you had. Of course, you have more than one, and to show that, go to pages on the sidebar. Navigate to project page and click on the Options button next to it. Here you need Duplicate Page, its name, which will be the second project page, and hit Done. Now there is a fourth button on the header, standing for your second project. Here you have a name block, description, photo here, a button for other types of media and links to other files located on your drive and the main block to demonstrate a project. Another description, which you can delete if you don't need it. Put the mouse anywhere over this block and go to this little bar on the left. And delete selection. And you also don't need this separator anymore as well. More blocks for showcase, description, and this is a button with link. Click on it, then this pen icon, name it, and insert a proper link to other things you want to show and update. And now, when a person clicks on it, it naturally sends him to a link source. There is a lot more to do here with lots of customization options, and we're getting there in a minute. Mostly, I'd say working with this template illustrates the use of all others.
Let's return to other templates. And here inside the work category, you have a few templates as well, like this one for project. Where you give a brief overview of your idea with all elements we just went through. Let's return. Event which actually contains a lot more sections to disclose some event you're gathering people for. But was basically no new elements as well, just made for your quick use. And then even a restaurant menu, you know, when on the table you have some sort of link like a QR code, a person scans and goes to the web version of the menu. I've seen a lot of these. A cover. The location was the new Google Maps module. We'll get to it. Description of a working staff. And the menu itself. First of all, you certainly have more dishes. And what you can do here, you can basically duplicate a section with this button on the bar on the left and add a new dish. Or you can put the food into different categories by creating new pages on top, like most do. Go to Pages, navigate to Menu, Options, and choose Duplicate Page. Let's say it's for dessert, and done. Then you'd want to rename the previous page, double-click on its name, and let's say Main Dishes. Now customize it, fill it with your offers and give it in your restaurant. And you got it, all this is applicable to all other templates, just pick the one you need and customize it. And we return to the empty canvas for creating a website from scratch. And before we start, I will use this button for a preview mode all the time to demonstrate how a site visitor will see it. Straight away, the sidebar on the right is basically your whole toolbar for building a site, and the sheet itself is the graphical builder, consistent of blocks that you add from the sidebar, arrange and fill with your data. We'll start by naming our site in a header block at the top left. For me, it's the Goo Ducks. And the next thing we do, suggested by the service itself, is adding a logo, so click on it. And here you either upload one from your computer or select it on your drive. I will get it via drive. Then my drive. And here I have one. Double clicking. And now I have it in front of the name. And while we are here, you would certainly want to change the style of the header, since now it is blended with the banner. So go to the navigation here. And for the color, choose either you want to leave it transparent, like it is now, or set another color. I'll choose white. And close it. Then, the first block we have is the intro banner, with the title and the image. Just click on it to change its name. Clear the placeholder and type what you need. As you have noticed, when you select the text box, you have such a bar popping up for text formatting. Where you have the style of text, we'll keep it title. Then the font, its size, bold, italic and underlined formattings. And then the text color, all of which are just the same as you have in Google Docs and other editors. Alignment, removing, and options for spacing, indent, strike through formatting and clear formatting button. Then, let's change the image for this banner. So, when you hover over this block, you get this little bar at the bottom and we'll change the image by uploading one from the computer. <sighs> and here we have it. This returns the original image back. And here are header types. We start from the cover, which makes the image take full screen for a visitor. Let me show you how it looks from that side with preview mode. 
and then you have this real nice slide in animation when scrolling down to keep reading. Then the standard large banner, smaller banner, and with no image at all. This here applies a fade-in effect to improve the readability, and with Anchor you choose which part of the image to show if it's too big. Or delete the whole block with the button to its left. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.